this might be the craziest goddamn story I've ever heard in my life, bro. Like, this is reaching Ezra Miller points in this fucking storyline, bro. This shit is absolutely insane, bro. But I can only tell this story by having me be the main character of it. You know how I like to do things. So imagine I'm flying from Russia to America. I'm in line security checkpoint. I'm like, damn, I can't wait to see my girlfriend, my family, my brothers, my sisters. I can't, I can't wait to get back to America, man. I'm just so happy, bro. But I realize as soon as I'm going through the checkpoint, fuck. I forgot my vape is inside my pocket. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. At, m at most, he'll make me throw it away. I can literally give a fuck less about it. As long as I can get on that plane to go see my family, I'm all right. So I get the security guard. I'm like, hey, look, man. Um, I forgot my vape is in my pocket. It is a weed vape, but you can throw it away. It only costs like fucking $5, so it's not really worth anything to me or whatsoever. So I'm like, hey, just go ahead and throw this away, and then I can get on the plane. He's like, you know what, nigga? I'm about to throw your life away. I'm in prison not knowing what the fuck is going on apparently russia has some fucking laws saying look if you breed eat if you bring any whether it's an ounce or a fucking gram or a brick my nigga i don't give a fuck what it is a pen you're going to jail for the next 25 to life i don't know what the fuck their laws are over there like that for but it's crazy my nigga but of course over here i'm a pretty predominant figure in this storyline I'm, I'm an nba basketball player right so i'm like look america they should want me back over there soon so We'll see what the fuck happens. I'm, I'm sitting there in my jail cell and see the guard watching TV. I'm like, damn, what the fuck is he watching? I look on my screen and it says, wow, Apollo the Almighty is willing to be traded back to America. I'm like, oh shit, you know, who's, who am I getting traded for? A nigga named the Merchant of Death. I'm never getting out of this cell, bro. This is a real story that's going on right now, my niggas. On some real shit, bro. Brittany Griner, a WNBA player, bro. She, I'm not even going to call her the LeBron of the WNBA because that might be sexist or some shit. But she's a very, very, very predominant figure in the WNBA, bro. A huge figure. Probably one of the best NBA players that we've seen in the league ever, bro. She is now in jail over in Russia. Spending the next nine years of her life in a prison. And the only way she can get out of prison is if America trades her from a nigga named the Merchant of Death. Brittany, you might gotta sit that time, bro. You might gotta sit that time. I don't know what the fuck this nigga did to get that name. I have no idea how America caught this man. I've seen pictures of him, bro. That nigga looks like the most menacing nigga known to man, bro. He's more menacing than fucking Nathaniel B at this point. Hold up. Ain't you Nathaniel B? This shit is absolutely fucking insane, bro. Like, he looks crazy, man. I, how do you get the name the Merchant of Death, bro? Imagine like a post time skip. My name goes from Apollo the Almighty to the unfathomable god of destruction or some shit. Like, how the how the fuck did you get that name? What did you do, bro? Like, no way. Brittany, you'll never see this because you're probably gonna be in jail for the next nine years. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna be in the next nine years, so you're never gonna see this video, but you're you might gotta sit that time, bro. You might gotta sit that time. I mean, it was a weed charge. Weed charge is not just as simple it is in America, bro. It's, it's crazy in some places. Like, in fucking, if you, if it would have been like an Asian country or some shit, you might never see the light of day of fucking again. Because they treat weed like damn cocaine in some places, bro. Damn meth in some places, bro. So, unfortunately, she didn't read up on the laws. And she is going to be seeing the next nine inside prison. Nine years, yes, not nine days, not nine months, not nine weeks. She spent the next nine years inside prison for a weed vape. It may sound just so fucking lackluster over here, but in Russia, apparently it's a very, very serious charge. And she's not getting out of it unless we trade her for the merchant of death, bro. I don't know what the fuck Joe Biden is planning to do. Hopefully that nigga does not trade. At this point, my nigga, Brittany, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to all WNBA fans. I'm sorry to her team. I'm sorry for her family. You, you gotta sit, bro. You gotta sit. The Merchant of Death is not fucking getting free, man. I don't know what the fuck this nigga did, and I don't even want him free. Hell no. How do you get that fucking name? What did he do? Apparently, he's like a fucking weapons dealer. Like, he was smuggling bufus upon bufus of weapons over from Russia to America. You might be asking, you have Apollo. How can he smuggle weapons from Russia to America, but Brittany can't smuggle a weed pen? Nigga, I'm a black man in America. I have no idea what the fuck you want me to say that, bro. I, I have no idea. I don't know, my nigga. But, Brittany, I'm sorry. You sitting that next... <laughs> you sitting the next nine, bro. It's not a funny topic. It's just the funny that, that... That's like the first person they went to to trade that the girl over, bro. Like, she's a fucking... A grown woman, a basketball player, predominant celebrity over here. And they're like, well, I mean... We can trade her if you wanna... If you wanna give us the Merchant of Death back, I guess. Like, nigga, no. You're not getting him, bro. But... 
that's the end of this little story, bro. I just thought, you know, we talked about Ezra Miller, so you might as well come on and talk about fucking Britney Grinder case, bro. Ezra Miller, he's just, or they're just fucking, their their life is getting destroyed, my nigga. But somehow the movie's still not canceled. Bad Girl got canceled. Supergirl got canceled. Ample, D, Ample DC things got canceled, but Ezra Miller's movie is still somehow fucking going phenomenal, I guess. I have no idea, my niggas, but I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for enemies. Now, let's at least wish them well. And I'll see you guys next one, bro. Brittany, I apologize, man. <laughs> I apologize.